Chairman of international investment advice firm warns Trump win in 2020 will bring about the end of the world order. President Donald Trump caused a whirlwind when he suggested that Russia be invited back into the Group of Seven on Friday. As he was headed to the G7 summit in Charlevoix, Canada, President Trump told reporters, Russia should be in this meeting. They should let Russia come back in, because we should have Russia at the negotiating table. President Trump's untraditional views towards America's allies and enemies have some believing he could disrupt the world order. Former National Security Advisor to President George W. Bush, Stephen Hadley, told The Washington Post that it's unclear how President Trump's unprecedented actions will impact the United States. First, does the accumulation of these incidents over time begin to erode trust and confidence? Hadley said. Secondly, what is it doing to public opinion and public views of the United States? That's the thing the Trump people don't sufficiently take into account. Several European officials told the Post that President Trump's actions are irritating. Even more so, some are thinking about what his presidency could mean for the 2020 election. Cliff Kupchin, chairman of the Eurasia Group, an investment advising firm for foreign markets, warned people to be concerned about the end of the liberal world order if President Trump is re-elected. If President Trump is re-elected, and it will be very close, then during his second term, we have to worry about the end of the liberal world order, Kupchin said. A second term would allow him enough time to do irreparable damage to liberal institutions, to the WDO World Trade Organization and Bretton Woods. Hadley wondered what purpose President Trump's disruption would serve. Trump supporters wanted a disruptor-in-chief who would challenge or even overturn the system. Because of that and who he is you are going to see a lot of disruption for the first couple of years of this presidency, as President Trump tries to reset the table on a range of issues, Hadley said. The question is whether he can make something affirmative to come out of that disruption. On that, the jury is still out.